In this quick tip, I'm going to show you a couple of things that you may experience in one of the viewports. First is one of the viewports, for example, this top view does not have a grid, somehow it disappeared. And I'm going to show you how to get it back. And another one is in certain viewports, like this one in the front, these meshes that you can see inside the perspective do not appear inside this front view. They're right here. If I press F to center, it centers it, but they just don't appear in this front view. And I'll show you how to make them appear. So the very first thing is just take a look at display and make sure your grid is enabled. If you see the grid in all other viewports, this is not going to fix it. This is basically enable or disable grid globally. Then you may want to take a look at each individual viewport and click this icon right here, the grid. This will disable and enable the grid for each viewport. And each viewport has this icon right in the viewport toolbar. You can also use the show grid enable disable in the drop down menu within each viewport. And you can see for this top view, the grid is enabled. So somehow it got removed and you may not even know how it did that. So none of those checks fix the issue. So what you can do to fix it within that viewport, let me go ahead and maximize it. Go to view and you can view along a specific axis. So if you go down here on the bottom viewport and each individual viewport will display this text, it will display what that viewport is and which axis is being viewed on. So in my case, top is negative Y. So if I go to view, I can invert that viewport to be in top Y positive. So I'll go to view, view alone axis and choose Y. So now I'll be able to see the grid. Now let me go ahead and reset this back to negative Y and uh, so it removes that viewport, uh, the grid. It kind of brings that problem back. So I'll uh, revert it back to what it was, negative Y. So the other issue, uh, the other way you can fix this is by going to view and choose default view. This will reset to what the default view should be in Maya upon start of Maya without you having to modify anything or disable something you weren't aware of. So if I go ahead and click default view, it will bring my grid back. It will remain on top negative Y on the axis that I would want to view on. And now I have my grid back and everything is how it's supposed to be. And every viewport will have this option by going to view and view all on axes or reset to default view. And this will kind of reset it back to factory settings, uh, the view itself. Now for this one particular, when you're looking at certain views, primarily in the front view and you have certain meshes, but they don't appear inside the viewport. So you can see that I selected this mesh. It doesn't appear here. If I move it forward and then it crosses specific distance, you can see that it appears, kind of pops into view. And then if I put it back, it disappears. This is due to the camera within that viewport. So to fix this, I'm going to go ahead and maximize it. And I'm going to go to view and select the camera. And it's just being occluded at a certain distance. So now that I have my camera selected for that front view only, you'll have the properties for the camera pop up inside the channel box. I actually want the attribute editor. So I'm going to press control A or click on this icon on the little tab right here. And I can increase or decrease near clip plane and far clip plane. So what I'm looking for is actually far clip plane. And uh, I can just type in an extra zero in here and all the meshes will appear. This is the same issue that you may experience when you zoom out too far. And I've done a quick tip on this. You can see that it's being occluded after a certain distance. Uh, you can do the same thing inside the perspective viewport by going to view, select camera, and then increasing this by an extra zero. So you have a greater distance of all the meshes appearing inside the viewport. And that goes for all the other viewports. You just have to work with them individually. So I hope that helped and I'll see you in the next quick tip.